guys and welcome back to my channel candid with carla well on today's video i'm gonna hop right in um let's address the elephant in the room the elephant in the room yes so uh yeah um i had braids in my head and I actually had, before that, I had twists in my hair. I actually got my hair, I started getting my hair braided and twists. I had a short haircut. Okay, so for those of you who do not know me, <clears throat> I have been natural for uh, 13 years, right? I started off being a loose natural. I did a big chop. This is my third. I did a big chop. And, um, that was, Ooh, that was many years ago. So anyway, um, I did a big chop. I allowed my hair to grow out and it was a lot. My hair is a 4C. So I have extremely kinky hair. That's like those tight little, little bitty baby curls. If you want to call them curls, some people don't, they want to call them BDs or whatever. I don't have big flowing loose curls. I have teeny teeny. I have coarse hair. My texture is coarse. And me going natural actually um, made me embrace the texture of my hair as the time began to go on. Because initially I, I, did, I was not a big fan of my hair being coarse. I was quick to go get a perm and like, yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> fast forward, um, I decided to, after it being big and just kind of taking a lot of time, like on, on my wash days, it would take up my entire day. Plus on top of that, um, I got two girls and you know, if I had to do their hair, I would have to kind of break it up in days um, because it, it was a lot. Anyhow, moving on, I ended up coming to a decision of either doing another big chop or getting locks. So since I had already experienced the big chop once before in the very beginning, I decided to do locks. So I did locks and I had the locks for maybe about eight years or so. Yeah, somewhere around in there. And my locks grew. Um, I loved them. I, I mean, I loved them. Those are my heart. Like I was so happy about my locks. They, they, I mean, my hair was almost down to my butt and like my hair was midway towards my back. And, um, you know, once they got that long, I actually cut them because they were getting on my nerves. Um, I loved it, but I didn't like closing my hair in car doors or if I didn't tie my hair up at night, my hair would be wrapped around my neck when I wake up or in the middle of the night. It was just a lot. So I was like, okay. Um, so I decided to cut it. I did like a bob length. Well, if you got locks, you know that they grow back fast. So they started growing back, started getting past my shoulder again. And I was like, okay. By this time, I was ready for a change. So I decided that I would do a big chop. So um, this was 2021. I think 2021. So I did the big chop and, um, you know, I, it took me a minute to get used to it, but I was like, okay, you know, I got it. I'm, I'm liking it. It's, it's cool. You know, it took a minute for it to grow on me and I was like, okay. So I wore my hair short, um, kind of like it is now until, uh, last year. Uh, I think when the fall came, when the fall came last year, I decided to get some twists in my hair because the year before that, when I did a big chop, I did it again towards the fall. And my head was cold during the winter time of 2021. My head was cold. Every time I went out the door, if it was cold, my head was cold. So I was like, this year, last year, I ain't doing it no more. I will go give me some twists, braids, whatever I got to get to keep in my head until the spring. And then I'll take them out wear it back short. So, um, that's what I did. So last year in the fall, I began to get twists and I just kept them in my hair and my hair grew 
like it, I kept the sides in the back sh tapered shaved whatever you want to call it but I kept you know the top right there so that grew my hair my hair yeah it grew it so coming up to like you know recently um I was like okay what I'm gonna do is it's getting hot and I really don't want no braids I do and I don't but since I've had them for a minute because I had gotten twists towards I got twists last year and I wore twists up into January. Then I kind of swapped over to braids. I started getting braids instead of twists. Um, and so I was like, okay, I'm kind of take a break from that. And I'm just going to cut my hair or what have you and just wear it short for a while. Um, I do have a cruise coming up next month. And so I was like, what I'll do is just wear it short for a little while. And then when the cruise come, I'll put the braids back in. And so um, I took my braids out about last week and um y'all I, I went to get my hair cut shout out to my beautician who cuts my hair um you know now let me let me reverse shout out to my brother-in-law he was the one who initially cut my hair and he was keeping it up for me shout out to him he is an awesome 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 barber um but the drive just to get my hair cut for me is, is a little bit too much. That's the only reason why I kind of stopped going to him because driving an hour just to get my hair cut was just like, okay, I got to do something else. So I found a local barber, um, beautician. She's a beautician actually. And, um, shout out to her. Um, she's been keeping my hair cut and shaved and tapered, you know, even during my braids, the time that I had my braids and my twists. Some strange reason or another, when she cut it this time, um, I guess we didn't communicate effectively. And uh, this really wasn't the look that I was going for. It, I, it was a little bit too high. You know, I really wanted it kind of more, you know, I wanted this to be a little like this to be down. I can't really explain it, but I didn't explain that thoroughly. So I did show a picture, but however, again, I think it was miscommunication, which is understandable. It happens, you know. Um, and again, shout out to her because she do an awesome job at keeping my hair cut and everything. Um, but y'all, I was just like, I'm just like, my head is already huge. Now, granted, I'm not against shortcuts because I love shortcuts. You know, I've never been a long hair person. That's why when my locks got so long, I was like, yeah, no. Long hair, you know, yeah, long hair don't care ain't for me. It, it just, you know, mm, yeah. It got a little too long. Um, so, you know, I'm saying all this because really in all honesty, you know, sometimes we can, like for me, I, I will say this time around, with me not really being in a place where I was kind of feeling my haircut this time, um, it put me in a place of like, should I go buy a wig? Um... You know, should I cover it up, wear a scarf for a while? Like, I don't want to walk around like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't want to walk around like this because I, I don't know. Um, And I know it's hair and it'll grow back, but I had got to that place. And, you know, my now my husband from the get-go, when he walked in the door that night, he was like, I like it. I love it. Like, he liked it. And it's good. It's all good. Don't get me wrong, but, you know, me, myself, this is my head. And so, you know, I am like, okay, well, I'm glad you like it. That made me feel good. Um, it did, but um, just y'all being in a vulnerable place, um, I kind of want to cover it up and, and not show it. Like, and not even to a point where I was like, well, I ain't going to go nowhere until, you know, grow out a little bit more or, you know, whatever. I don't know, y'all. And so, um, I, vulnerability, I'm being vulnerable right now, vulnerability, I'm being vulnerable right now. And, um, just to let you all know, sometimes, you know, as women, because we want to look good, we want to look nice, we want to look beautiful, we want to look pretty. Um, my husband does tell me that all the time, he do. Um, but when some, you know, when you look in the mirror, you know, sometimes we can see differently than what they see. And I had to kind of do some self-talk and was like, beauty is within, you know what I'm saying? Beauty comes from within. And the fact of the matter is my hair does not make me who I am. 
and you know I reached out to my daughter me and her was talking and she was like no it looks good it's nothing wrong with it you know I reached out to another friend of mine and you know she was like yeah it's good it looks good you know um but I really was I, I felt down and I felt like I don't want to walk around with my head like this because to me I look funny you know what I'm saying and so I I just you know and it's crazy because I've even had it to a point where like when my brother-in-law first cur cut my hair um I ended up putting some color in it and that color made now I already got 4C hair and it was a boxed color so me going to get it professionally done I got a box color I did it myself y'all my hair already coarse that color in that box maybe <laughs> the hair was like almost like a brillo pad i was like oh uh, yeah no this ain't it you know what i'm saying i tried it, it just wasn't it so what ended up happening was i went back to my brother-in-law he cut all the color out which when he cut the color out made him cut it low I mean, like, I ain't had none of this. It was low, like a low, low. I don't even know what you call it because I don't know the barber turns taper, shave, uh, fade, whatever. I don't know. It was, yeah. And, but I don't know why I was okay with that though. And, you know, I guess because it was all one color and it was like, I don't know, y'all. I'll be, I guess I'm, I'll be in these moods, I guess, you know. Anyway, needless to say, um, and then what make it so bad when he first cut the color out, I started a new job and I had to walk in this job with this low boyish type looking haircut. Y'all, the only, I'm telling you the only thing that really helped me to build my confidence up in that was I do got family members that work at this particular place. But I wasn't really worried about them, but I ain't know about, but I didn't know anybody. So I was like, okay, these people don't know what I looked like before. So I'm coming into this new, I'm coming into this, this is how they see me. And I don't know why that seemed to make a difference, but it did. For me, it did. Because it was like, I'm not going around people that I know that knew what I looked like prior to me getting this haircut. So this is what they see is what they get, right? And so I think that's how I dealt with that. And then it just grew out or whatever and, you know, whatever. But y'all... I just want to make this video because, you know, the Bible says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. And sometimes we have to remind ourselves with that. We have to remind ourselves that beauty comes from within and beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. You know, it just, as a woman, just sometimes it gets a little tough. Now, don't get me wrong. I like a short haircut, but I also want to make sure my short haircut makes me look nice makes me look pretty makes me look beautiful you know I just don't want to look any kind of way just because I look have a short haircut and I most definitely don't want to how can I say this without saying this to make people feel offended uh I don't want to okay let me say it this way then when I first got my when I did my second chop back in 2021 my son and this is me just being honest, said, Mom, uh, people gonna think you a lesbian. I don't like that haircut. And why did you do that? And I was like, oh, clutching my invisible pearls. Did he really just say this to me? And my husband just so happened to be in the room. He was like, no, my wife don't. My wife look beautiful, da 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 whatever, whatever. <sighs> Y'all, that hurt me to my heart. Look, I just was not, I, y'all, mm -mm, that hurt my feelings because I'm like, yo, that's not uh, how I'm trying to look, first and foremost. Then I start worrying. I'm like, oh my God. I mean, people know me, but just, you know, just the look of somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, when you go out, you know, you want to be, see, my husband is the only one that matters. Let's just start there first and foremost. And I had to get that mindset. But you know, but outside of that, we do care about our appearance and how we look when we go out in public. And that's just being honest. You know, you don't want to go out in public looking any kind of way, right? So 
with that being said, um, yeah, I was kind of in that mindset this time with this haircut. And I was like, maybe <laughs> that needs to go and buy me a wig and cover this up for a little while. Because, you know, mm. but again, you know, we have to get to a place where we love ourselves. It's just hair. It will grow back. It'll grow back and grow in how I want it to. And um, it's okay. It's okay. My husband loves it. He still loves me. It doesn't make him love me any less. And I just have to learn to be more confident in my skin. And I'm growing in that area. I'm not always confident in my skin. And that's just me being honest. I'm not always confident in my skin. And sometimes I, you know, us as women, we get to that place where, you know, we want to look a certain way. And, um, you know, and it's not that we're trying to, you know, please man. It's, it's really within ourselves how we feel about ourselves and how we look. Because ladies, let's be honest. When you go out somewhere and you put your clothes on to get dressed up, especially if you're going out on a date with your husband or whether or not you're single and you just want to hang out with your friends, your girlfriends or whatever the case may be, or you're just going out on a date or whatever the case may be, you want to look nice. You want to look beautiful. You want to, you want to dress up. You want to look the part, you know, you want to look good. And, um, I, you know, I'm not a big makeup person. Um, I'm just now learning how to do makeup. And especially with my haircut short, I believe like, okay, sometimes I may have to apply some makeup. You know, I've been learning a little bit lately. Um, I'm not a big lash girl. I used to wear lashes a lot, but for whatever reason, I don't know what it is, but every time I get lashes, they irritate my eyes so, so, so bad. And then it seemed like I already have like small, you know, eyelashes and stuff that it seemed like it make it take it out. So I just rather wear some mascara you know lashes are beautiful I still may get them once a blue moon like for instance if I'm taking pictures like um when I took family photos last year I got lashes but it was a strip and it lasted a day so you know I'm good with that but um you know I've actually went in and got the individual lashes where they take a couple of hours for you to put on and you know it's costly you know it ain't cheap and they last for about a good month or so them junk they irritated my eyes so bad I was like ready to pull them out so, you know, that's really why I don't wear lashes like that. Um, I love earrings. I will wear me some earrings. I'm a hoop girl. So you rarely see me as like, I do have some diamond earrings, some diamond studs or whatever, but I'm really a hoop girl. I like, you know, so you might see me all the time. And I, if, I see, if you see me with some studs on, you know, it's just whatever I will wear them. But I'm a hoop girl. I love, 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 love hoops. It's my favorite type of earring to wear. Um... So, yeah, I just wanted to make this video to let you know that, you know, as a woman, you know, just being honest on my channel, you know what I'm saying? My viewers, you know, I'm taking you along with me on this Christian journey. Oh, by the way, if you are new to this channel, um, please, this is a faith-based content channel where we talk about everything um, in that arena, all faith-based things, uh, lifestyle, basically. And everyday living, kingdom living. So, you know, just living righteously for God. I may not just sit here and read scriptures every single time I, you know, come on here or whatever. But um, I, this is a Christian channel. Anyway, join us. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button and share. Hit the bell for notifications so you won't miss out on the next video if you are new here. And the, the ones that have subscribed, thank you and welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I didn't say it earlier, y'all. But anyway, so with that being said, I've, this video is long enough. I just wanted you guys to see. Wait a minute. I didn't even get to tell you that I didn't even want to make no video. I had told my daughter, I was like, I'm just going to wait for another month or so before my hair grow out before I make a video. Like, I don't want to do no video with my head looking like this. I just don't. But then I kept thinking about it, thinking about it. And I believe that God placed it on my heart because, again, you know, he said that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. God created me the way that I am. You know what I'm saying? He created me and I don't want to slap him in the face by feeling like I don't like the way that I look or whatever the case may be. So I had to change my mindset to be grateful and to be just thankful for 
the way that he created me and that I am uniquely made. I'm not like anyone else. So ladies, I just want to encourage you all, you know, to be, to love yourselves, love the skin that you're in. I am, my birthday is this month. I will be 48 years old. So I'm pushing close to 50 and, um, I'm pushing for close to 50 and it's time. It's time for me to start loving the skin that I am in, loving the now, loving the me, how I am now. That doesn't mean that I don't have room for growth or anything like that. That's not what I'm saying. But just loving the skin that I am and not trying to do all this dress up, gloss up just to appear to be something. And I, and, and that's what not, and I, I don't, I'm not trying to say that. I'm not trying to knock anyone who does that, but like, you know, I used to wear back before I did the big shop, I did wigs, weaves, braids, tree braids, uh, uh, crochet braids, um, micro braids, sew-ins, wigs, you, you name it, it was in my head. And it wasn't because my hair was short. I had perm back then. So, you know, I think my hair was like probably like this length. For whatever reason, I don't know, my hair would not. When I was a little girl, my hair was long. But after it came out with a perm, by the time I got grown, for whatever reason, my hair just would not grow past my shoulders. It would just stop right there. Boop. Pause. Punky breaks. And that's why when I went natural and I got my locks and I was like, okay, it must have been the chemicals because, yeah. But anyway, I said all that to say, you know, some people, they wear wigs and, and weaves and so on because that's just the style that they like. It's a convenience for them. They don't want to have to do their hair because trust and believe when I went natural um, way back when the first time I did my big chop and my hair grew, it was a task. Being that my hair is coarse, 4C, it was a task trying to keep my hair up and do my hair. Now, I will say, once I did a style, it lasted because my hair is so thick and coarse, my styles lasted. It wasn't easily unraveled or easily come out or anything like that, but it would just take all day to wash it and detangle it and to put it in a style. That one, it, that was not the move. I ain't like spending my Saturdays or Sundays doing hair all day. You know, that just was not the move. So... Once I got the locks, that's why I love the locks. And I do plan on going back and getting more locks. I, I, that's the plan. Even when, before I cut them, I was like, I'm going to get my locks back because I love locks. They, I just, I love them. It was just time for a change for me. And that's why, you know, I cut my hair and everything just to do something different. But um, I said all that to say, you know, I'm not trying to knock anybody who wear those things and do those things or anybody who even still got a perm for that matter. You do you, boo. Do what's best for you and your hair and your style and your looks or whatever it is. But for me, I do, I will say when I am in this space right now where I am beginning to embrace me and embrace, you know, the, the grays and the wrinkles and the, you know, all the other stuff that I have going on, all my imperfections, when I'm beginning to embrace this, it's allowing me to see myself is truly and be in the, and not be ashamed to be in public and just be me. Even if I don't have any makeup on my face or I don't have any earrings on or whatever the case may be, because I don't have to wear this stuff every day, all day. I like to, yes, but do I have to? No. And to get in a place where I'm confident and I'm secure in who I am as a woman, um, you know, I have to learn how to embrace me and, and, and not worry about what nobody else say or think. You know, because what the, the truth be told, everybody's not going to like my hair. And that's fine. Um, and you may have some people that do. Um, you know, I have to get out of my head about worrying about what people is going to say or think. Um, that's just something that I have to learn how to deal with. And um, again, that beauty comes from within. My hair does not make me. It will grow back. And I'll be able to rock the style that I, you know, initially intended to rock and then get my braids back if I want to get my braids back or whatever it is that I decide to do with my hair. So, you guys, I just wanted to come on here and just share what's going on with me. Let you guys see my new look, um, you know, and just share my vulnerable moments of how I felt about it and, you know, what I went through and the fact that I didn't even want to record. Um, 
I wanted to wait and was like, I ain't recording my mad video to some of this hair go back in. Or either I'm gonna go get a wig, you know? And that's just me being honest. So, um, but I thank God for just his voice and just, you know, him put, placing in my spirit, you know, the things that he's placed in my spirit and that he loves me no matter what. The fact that my husband loves me, you know what I'm saying? And so, um, you know, it helped me to build a little bit of confidence up and make me feel confident enough to be open and honest and vulnerable with you guys and to come on here and go ahead and just do a video. And, and that is okay, you know. So anyway, with that being said, again, this video is long enough. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I hope I've said something to encourage you guys. And until the next video, you guys, be blessed.